Now today we have a pretty cool trip that I've been wanting to do for a couple of years. My buddy Preston, actually I met him when I was covering the Elite Series in the like mid 2000s and he was fishing as a co-angler. You know there's that guy who always threatens I'm gonna stop bass fishing and just sell all my stuff. That would be me. He did it. But he's still in the fishing game, still loves to fish. And one of the things he's good at, catching big blue cats during the winter on Lake Uliga. Bon Appetit. Did you really just kiss that? Mm. Oh, I kissed the shed. So he was down here for work in Tulsa, lives up in Kansas now, and we are going to target giant blue cats on cup bait and shad. He really just kissed the shed. This will be a fun one today. dot circle hook. That's 60 pound mono, by the way. So right now we're just graphing, trying to find the shad, looking for big gizzard shad, and then throw the cast net. Cast netting is not my uh, forte. I got 40 or 50 of them in there. If you've never cast net, that is not an easy thing to do. And we are headed to go catch blues now. So we are uh, two and a half hours into fishing for blue cats. Zero bites. So we're gonna go see if the crappie are biting. Let's hope they are. So the blue cat experiment from yesterday did not turn out on Ulaga. I had a great time though hanging out with Preston today. We are back at it. We are back chasing the target species of largemouth, spotted bass, and smallmouth with my boy Brock. The AFCO Bass Boot Camp curse continues with the tire situation. Got my boat hooked up to Brock's truck and we got a low tire. This is unbelievable. We go years without flats and now we've had two. You gotta pay to play, bro. You gotta pay to play. Yeah, that is, uh, that's flat, Brock. Yeah, it's flat. All right, we are at the lake. We are not at Lake Ten Killer. The flat tire took us three or four. What about two hours? Two three hours longer? Yeah. Two and a half. We, we got. We, it took us too long to where we missed the the launch of the of the tournament. Brock got frustrated. He did not want me to film the process. It involved it involved other people coming with other tow jacks. We got the tire fixed. We got the tire fixed up. We said, screw it, we're still going fishing. So now we are at Skyatook. Giant smallmouth, but there's like three of them in the lake. <laughs> and there's more than three. Okay, maybe more than three. No tournament today, but uh, 138 right now. Try to catch us some smallmouth and see how things go.
it is freezing cold this morning. I've done this boat cover before. That's ice. That's like solid ice. So why am I out in solid ice? Because of that right there. That's Jason Christie. Just got back from the MLF event in Florida, getting ready to head to the MLF event in Texas, down on Conroe. We're gonna do a little filming today, shoot some stuff for uh, AFCO with the winter background. All right, well, the goal was to, uh, to get some AFCO footage uh, with some of the new products that really haven't been out for a full winter yet. So we definitely got that accomplished. Actually snowed today, uh, a little bit cold. We are headed back. Jason's headed home. I didn't even put the boat in the water. <laughs> 